Hello everyone and welcome back to this EU4 Hansa campaign where we are uh, about two and a half years away from being able to attack Bavaria to get an electorate going. So that is what we'll hopefully be going for next. I don't know. The other option would be to go and try and fight some people here and get them to convert into our glorious fate instead. We could fabricate on uh, Brunswick just for the fun of it. Sure, why not? Look at doing that. Uh, apart from that, we have way too much money and... Nowhere to build any buildings. Nowhere to spend it. Well, that's not true. Malbor Castle can be upgraded and I see no real reason not to do that, if I'm going to be honest. That's Brandenburg Gate. There we go. Marlborough Castle. Sure. Oh, we have literally no manpower left, though. Yep. Can we build any more marines? Yes. Eight more shiny marines. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing with, but we're going to build them regardless. Okay, we finally finished that one. Do another one. Manpower at least 50%. Do we still have the option to just call it the air? We do. Let's do that. <coughs> to get that out of the way. Then we still have more admin points to spend. <laughs> what the heck happened? Oh no! Russia, how did you manage to do that? Now I do have to go and fight them. How incredibly annoying. Ah, uh, uh, not you. We have a separate one here. Oh, I tried so hard to protect you, stupid ass Riga. Well, we are going to go and have to fight Russia then. Russia is allied to... Allied to Gotland as well, so we could potentially go and... Steal that one from them then as well. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll be looking at doing that afterwards. Let's just get this election war sorted, or electorate war sorted out first. Apart from that, we do have a crap ton of admin points again. Let's expand this on a few. New as well. Tuchel. Right, we'll see how horrible it actually looks like with... <clears throat> I don't think that has updated. Okay, that was uh, a lot worse than I thought. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, our uh, administrative advice and lease are caught. What have we got for admin at the moment? Tax one. Yeah, we can have a quick look and see whether we can uh, sort someone else out there. That wouldn't be the end of the world. We need to spend Diplo power as well. Gain one stability. No, we're going to get Republican tradition. Thank you very much. We need to find another one that we can groom to greatness going forward. Uh, we do need to spend Diplo points, though. Um, as tempting as that is, I don't think we want to keep building it too much more. How are we looking with estates now? Okay, we can get right one of the. Oh, get rid of one of these ones. So. Let's get rid of you, and we're going to shove governing capacity in there instead. There we go, and we should be fine now. No? Did I pick the wrong one? Am I crazy? Are we still only at... Alright. <clears throat> Oh, did we only have 500 before? That is kind of tragic. Lose Diplo power? Sure. You know what? We'll just lose it and then keep going.
I'm very tempted to just take tech care. That'll give us the state house. So yeah, it's not a terrible idea. I'm going to do just because I can't be asked having to do development all the time. To not waste monarch points. Okay, let's get both of you done. Stralsund. Sure. We want to be able to build another one, so we are going to do that. Who's next? Star Guard, eh? Star Guard. Oh, this one here. Interpomen, eh? These three. Go naval supplies. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. And then we have, yeah, Elspoir, Arketrus. And we'll build one in Liebeck as well. Okay. Excellent stuff. Right. We'll see whether we can get a wall going here now. Let's just fast forward. I don't think we don't need to worry about Diplo power or any other monarch points now. So we can just push on. Truce is Brunswick has ended. Excellent uh, election. I think we need to store up some Republican tradition here. So one, two, two. Now we'll just pick the Diplomatic candidate again. Jesus Christ. That's a very skewed uh, thing. Alright, that'll do. We are careful as well. Very nice. I am going to fabricate a claim on you. Am I being blind? We need 30 for it. Do we already have a claim? No, we don't. Oh, is it because we're in the HRE? It costs a bit extra. Oh yeah, I'd forgotten about that. Okay. Doesn't matter. We'll just take this one. Oops. And then you can come back. And we need to wait another six months or so. And then we'll be ready to go to war. And it's going to be beautiful. Have you lot be ready. Coffee boom, good for you. We do rule indeed. Take care of those ones. Okay, so when exactly is the truce over? February of next year. All right. <clears throat> Who's Denmark fighting? Oh, no one. There we go. Let's just wait until next month, and then... Bavaria, my friend, I have come to claim the electorate. Oh no, Austria would join them now. Um... Can we do this? Good relations. What are the rules? I think we should still be able to declare war on Bavaria. And if they don't have the rest, then this part should be fine. It's just Austria who's providing a bunch of troops here. Let's check it. So we'll do a conquest here. We'll call in Austria because, of course, transfer trade power relationship with... Oh, for fuck's sake. Wait next month and then we'll see you.
I think several of these ones are in our trade league though. So that's going to be slightly obnoxious, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, we'll go for this. And then, let's just see whether we can declare war. We can, now it's a pathetic amount of troops. Or I think we can at least. Yeah, Gosler has left the trade league. It's a very sad day indeed. Okay. Uh, naval maintenance, ship cost, ship durability, or gain a bunch of money. I think gain a bunch of money. Oh shit, did we have revolts? Whoops. Uh, that army was kind of practicing. No. I'm not going to join your foolish war, because I need to crush you. What I am going to do, though, is attack these fools. Or claiming the electorate. Alright. Okay, you did manage it. Alright. We should now be at war with everyone in the Empire. Well, with the Emperor, so we can go anywhere in the Empire. So we'll just go and do that. We'll ignore everything when it comes to this other war. The only thing we'll be doing by that is to force people to change religion a few times. I don't think we need to worry about that. I'm sure Austria and his... Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> well, I'm sure Austria and his friends will take care of that. Not too worried about that part. And let's blow a hole here and see if we can finish this war ASAP. Yes. In fact, I will support you in a war against Russia. As soon as I have the chance, because... Russia foolishly stole what I consider to be rightfully Hanseatic land. <clears throat> and we can't have that. That is a surprising amount of troops getting up there, but I think we'll be fine. Uh, lose money or gain Republican tradition. Yes, please. Right. Where are else are we at war with here? Oops, clicking the wrong thing. Let's just go and siege out one of the random people here. Because we can. Good job. Keep beating them all up. Okay. I mean, he's going to get siege down, but it is what it is. We only got 40% war score here. Will you give it to me? Uh, claiming the electorate. Only just not. Alright, who else is in this war? Oh, Beirut, which we are sieging down. Ferrara and Constance. Constance is just over there, so we'll go and siege them down. And see whether he decides to give up. Oh, Ottomans has rivaled us. I mean, when Ottomans rivals, you know, it's... It's a good time to be alive. Peace offer from Württemberg. Which war are you in? It's in this one. Ah, okay. Well, let's see what we can do with you. I would like for you to change your religion, please. And war apps. Oh, okay. Give you a minute to think about life, the universe, and everything. Uh, Bayret, I would like for you to force your religion, war apps, and all your money, please. Oh. Never mind. <clears throat> um, where did I send you? Oh, yeah. Get rid of that last one. Now, yes, we can kick you out, all the money, all whatever ducats. Very nice, who else have we at war with now? You, eh? Constance, I would like for you to change your religion, war rep, and all the good things. And you'll keep going. Frankfurt, eh? We can check how he feels about this war now. Okay, he will give it to us. 
Um, are there any more people in this war? It would be Ferrara. We don't really care about their religion, so... I think we'll just do it. We'll take some money as well, because we can. Right, Liebig becomes Elector of the Holy Roman Empire. A random subject of Liebig loses the Electorate. And a bunch of money. Oh, do we get that much aggressive expansion for it? That seems scary. <clears throat> but we can now upgrade to a kingdom because we are an electorate. Which gives us a bunch more stuff. And we are still in the glorious empire. Okay. Excellent. Ah, oh, it's the peasant shit. Okay. So... We do not want to give concessions to them. Come on. I do not approve of this. <laughs> uh, right, we're still apparently at war with you. Who else are we at war with? Oh, Frankfurt as well. All right. Good job, Austria. Now, if any of these ones are fully siege down, doesn't look like it since no one's on low enthusiasm. But we'll get that sorted soon. Um, well, we're not going to. We're losing inflation anyway, aren't we? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm not too worried about um, getting a bit there. Even though we are making, I presume, a decent amount from gold here. Yeah, 18 ducats per month. Are you going to give concessions, aren't you? How's aggressive expansion looking? Eh, it's not too bad. It's all good. We can now vote for the next emperor. I'm tempted to vote for Bavaria still. I mean, at the moment they would win. No. But I mean, especially if we're going to go into the League War here, then obviously we'd want to fight someone who is weak. Because so I think, since we're an elector now, I think it's fairly... Fairly certain that we will be the um, leader of the Protestant League. Let's get you over there and make sure you're over there before we piece them out. Just in case we get black flagged. Alright. Rank 30. I would like for you to... Oh, you're already correct religion. All right. Give me war apps. How many more people are in this war? Quite a few still, actually. All right. We have Austria's giant army patrolling back and forth, beating up these stacks. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, what we could do is... Where's our navy? Let's get you over here, and then they can just march through. Don't need to worry too much about it. Come on, you can do it. Okay, that is Munster done. See who else are we at war with? You, eh? Alright, let's swing this army over there. Then we're going to piece you out. Uh, we'll keep going for a... Well, let's grab an bureaucrat candidate at the moment. And you, my friend, are going to force religion and not much else. Okay. <clears throat> and we're a babbling buffoon. Excellent. At least we don't need to keep him that long, so it's all good. All right. Who else? Goslar. I mean, you can have as many military alliances as you want. It's all good. Oh, we already uh, sieged you down. Okay. 
In which case, you are apparently already the correct religion, so just war reps and nonsense from you. Excellent. More culture conversions done. You are also the correct religion, I guess, so kick you out. What else have we got left in this one? East Frisia and Friesland. Oh, East Frisia as well. Okay, well that one is being sieged. How about we just take you home to chill? Uh, minus 5% tax modifier. I do not... Oh, Jesus Christ here. Lose three Republican tradition. No, we'll spend some Diplo power instead. That seems perfectly fine. Okay, well we just need these ones to be sieged down now and then we'll be good. Uh, is Friesland one of the ones we have a claim on? No. But we'll need to look at beating up Russia now, sadly. Which actually means we have a couple of... Uh, well, we have plenty of alliance slots now. Right. We don't need to fight this stupid battle, so... Force religion on you, and some war apps. There we go. Swing you up to there, and you can go back home. Gain money or gain prestige? Money, since we are capped on prestige. Well, more or less. Oh my god, you're leaving our trade league. I do not approve of this. It's the most glorious of trade leagues ever. Okay, we're getting called for peace now, but we should hopefully finish that siege relatively quickly. Can we not shoot a hole if we had a freaking navy out there? Not in command of the siege. Okay, fine game. Feel like I should be allowed to do that regardless, but okay. To each their own. And we can upgrade you to level 2, which I think we definitely shall. It'll give us a bit more... mercantilism, so... And even more... Let's just double check. Um, where can we see it? Trade? Forty-six. Yep. Yeah. I'm reasonably sure we were on forty-three before, so let's just go. Oh, we're actually out of mine now. Okay, we'll let that one simmer for a bit then, and then let's get you converted. And finally, the last one. What, we can't? Did you change religion on your own? Ah, apparently you did. Oh well, we'll just do... I don't know, war reps and crap. There we go. It's a bit of a shame. Don't want any more land. I do want to seize land though, that sounds like an excellent idea. Thank you very much. And we are going to just double check whether anyone wants to join our illustrious trade league again. Yes, we do. So, welcome. Gosler, welcome back. Excellent. And we have four mighty diplomats now. Ah, oh, that's going to be so sweet. Let's do that. And outrage countries as well, just in case there are any. Okay, very nice. So I guess the next war is going to be with Mr. Russia here then. And we'll see whether uh, Austria would like to join us there. Now Gotland is going to join them, so maybe we'll just eat up Gotland at the same time. We'll see, but definitely need Riga back. So for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.